Question 4 from Section 1 of the 2019 National 5 Physics Examination. A ball is kicked horizontally off a high river bank as shown. The diagram is not to scale. The ball lands on the lower river bank at X two seconds after the ball is kicked. The river is 3.0 metres wide and the effect of air resistance on the ball is negligible. And we have to find the distance D between the edge of the lower river bank and X. Now we know from this diagram we've got a horizontal projectile and the ball will trace out that path like that. Another important fact we should know is that the horizontal velocity of the motion is going to be constant, it's going to be the same. So that means if we take a couple of snapshots at different parts of his flight, you'll see that the horizontal vector velocity is going to be always the same. Now therefore, we can go and work out what the horizontal distance travelled by the ball is by using our equation from the relationship sheet. Displacement S equals V times T and let's think about the horizontal displacement. So S really is the distance between the bottom of the cliff and where it lands. So let's put in the numbers and find out what that distance or displacement S is. So S is going to equal to VT as we have in the little card. The velocity, horizontal velocity stays the same, 8 metres per second, multiplied by 2 seconds and that's going to give us a total distance of 16 metres. So the horizontal distance travelled by the ball is going to be 16 metres and that 16 metres must be made up of 3 metres plus the distance. So therefore you can see that the distance has to be equal to 13 metres. So the answer for question 4 will be C. Question 5 from section 1 of the 2019 National 5 Physics Examination. The table gives the distance from Earth, the approximate surface temperature and the age of 5 stars, Sirius A, Polaris, Betelgeuse, Rigel and VY Canis Majoris. A student makes the following statements based on this information, and there's the three statements there, and we're asked which of these statements is or are correct. Well, let's look at the first statement. As the distance from the Earth increases, the age of the star decreases. Now, I'm going to blank out the middle column of that table so we can concentrate solely on the distance from the Earth in light years and the age in years. So we start with Sirius A, 8.6 light years away, and the age of Sirius is 2.4 times 10 to the power 8 years. Polaris is 430 light years away, further away, and the age is 7.0 times 10 to the power 7. So there is a decrease in the star's age so far. Betelgeuse, 640, and it is an age of 7.9 times 10 to the power 6 years. So there's a decrease as well. So things look good. But when we get to Rigel, 860 light years away, we have an increase in the age of the star. A slight increase going from 7.9 times 10 to the power 6 to 8.0 times 10 to the power 6. And when we go to VY Canis Majoris at 3,900 light years away, then we have a jump in the age of the star. It's actually older. So, as the distance from the Earth increases, the age of the star does not decrease. Uh, Rigel and VY Canis Majoris are the exceptions to that rule. They actually have got uh, older stars the further away. So, statement 1 is incorrect. So, we can mark that with the cross to show that it's incorrect. Now, let's look at statement 2. As the age of the star increases, the approximate surface temperature of the star increases. Now, in this case, I'm going to just cover up the distance part to concentrate on the surface temperature and the age in years. Now, the age in years column is a wee bit mixed up down the bottom, so we're going to put the years in order. So we start with the youngest star, 7.9 times 10 to the power 6, Betelgeuse. So over here I'll just put down age. And it's just to clear up this 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 uh, relationship statement. Age, and we'll put down here the surface temperature, just, which is to temperature. So we start off with the youngest one then, and it's going to be 7.9 times 10 to the power 6 years. And you can see the temperature is 3,600 uh, 6, Kelvin. 
Now we go to the next one, 7.9 times 10 to the power 6, that's Betelgeuse. And we go to the next one, which is 8.0 times 10 to the power 6, that's Rigel in terms of age. And that's got a surface temperature of 11,000. So we can see that the surface temperature is increasing as the age gets older so far. The next oldest star from uh, Rigel at 8.0 times 10 to the power 6 is VY Canis Majoris at 1.0 times 10 to the power 7. And that's got a surface temperature of 3,500. So here we have an exception to the rule. The temperature of the surface temperature star did increase uh, going from going from Betelgeuse to Rigel. But when it went from Rigel to VY Canis Majoris, the age, the, the temperature actually decreased again. So as the age of the star increases, the approximate surface temperature star increases is an incorrect statement as well. We just need to take three values from that then. I put them in order because these ages are not in order. So we can see from here that statement two is incorrect. Now let's take a look at the last statement. There is no apparent relationship between the distance from the Earth and the approximate surface temperature. So once again, I'm going to blank out the column we don't need, which is age, and just concentrate on the age, the distance from the Earth, and the approximate surface temperature. So let's see if there's a relationship. We start with Sirius A, 8.6, and the surface temperature is 9,900. We go further away to Polaris, 430 light years, and the surface temperature is 6,000 Kelvin. So it seems to be the further away... Uh, the temperature's becoming smaller. Betelgeuse, at 640 light years away, is further away, and the temperature is, in fact, reducing as well, getting smaller. So there seems to be a link here. But if we look at Rigel, at 860 light years, the surface temperature takes an enormous jump, which means we can't say the relationship between the distance from the Earth and the approximate surface temperature. Because take a look at VY Canis Majoris. That's 3,900 light years away. So we'd expect that the temperature to be a lot, lot smaller, but it's not. It's 3,500 compared to Betelgeuse. So therefore we can't make an apparent, there's no apparent relationship between distance from the Earth and the approximate surface temperature of the star. So we have to say that statement 3 is correct. So we have to mark that correct. So out of the three statements, we only have one being correct, and that is statement 3, and that's going to give us answer C. Question 6 from section 1 of the 2019 National 5 Physics Examination. A geostationary satellite orbits the Earth. Which row in the table shows the altitude above the surface of the Earth and the orbital period of a geostationary satellite? And we're given five choices. So let's do a little bit of revision here and take a look at a geostationary satellite as it orbits the Earth. And you can see it there. The geostationary satellite is that little white kind of dot orbiting round the Earth as the Earth rotates. Now, a geostationary satellite has an orbital period of 24 hours. This means it takes 24 hours to orbit the Earth. Now, since this equals the time for the Earth to revolve once, that's one day, then the satellite always appears to be above the, the one spot on the Earth. That's why it's called a geostationary satellite. Geo meaning place, stationary meaning stopped. So you can see that satellite always appears above the same place in the Earth by that thin kind of black line uh, going from the satellite to the surface of the Earth. So we know the orbital period, the time taken for one complete revolution, must match the revolution of the Earth in one day, and that is 24 hours. So it's got to be one of the following. It's got to be either this one, or it's got to be either this one. And the key thing here is that it only have... The, the satellite will only have an orbital period of 24 hours if it's a special distance above the surface of the Earth, a special altitude. And that special altitude is 36,000 kilometres above the surface of the Earth. So, answer to question 6 is B. The altitude above the surface of the Earth in kilometres will be 36,000 and the orbital period in hours will be 24. Answer 